Welcome to Linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about if conditions in bash scripting. So if you've been following this series till now you, you know that we have just started. If you're a beginner you're going to enjoy this tutorial very much. Even if you are an expert still you're going to enjoy it because I'm going to explain everything in detail that we do. So this video is about if else conditions in bash scripting. If you're a programmer, then you know that how important else if conditions are uh, in all programming languages almost. So today, even if you're not a bash programmer, you're gonna get the complete concept of if else statements that you can apply almost in any programming language of your choice. So without a further ado, let's start. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna jump into my computer and I'm going to show you that how you can write an if statement and how you can work with it. So without a further ado, let's jump into my computer and let's start. So here on my computer screen, uh, if you can see that we have a terminal open up, we are in our desktop directory. And here, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up this hello.sh script. And here you can see that this script is empty right now. And here we're going to write if conditions. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to define a variable, which is essentially count and I put it equals to seven. And then I'm going to write here an if condition, I put here big brackets and inside these brackets, I'm going to write here the variable name, which is essentially count. And then I'm going to write here equals to, which is um, a condition. And then I'm going to write here seven. Okay. So you always, basically, if you can do the math, you can tell that seven is equal to seven, which is essentially true. So after writing if statement, you're going to have then, okay, then means that uh, if this is true, then it should happen. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to write here. So here you can type in all the statements you want after then, okay, that would all be considered the part of if. So when the if is true, uh, whatever you have after then it is going to be executed. So right now I'm going to have here echo. Uh, this statement is true. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here fi, which basically uh, terminates the if statement. We also have else and else if statements that I'm going to talk about in a while. But for now, let's focus on if and let's try to understand it so that you can grab the concept and then we can move forward. So here you can see that first of all, what I have done is that I have defined a variable, which is essentially count, okay, count equals to seven. And then after that, what I have is that I have a count variable, I have used it in the if statement. So here, I check if the count variable is equal to seven. And if you see in the line above count, it has seven, okay, so seven is stored inside count. So when we do that, when we check it, so count is equal to seven is true, of course. So what's gonna happen that it's gonna come here and it's gonna execute this, whatever we have after then block. So it's going to be executed and it's gonna be printed out in our terminal. So let's go ahead and let's check, let's save this file and let's check if what we are saying is true. So we run our script and you can see that it says this statement is true, right? So there could be another case. So let's say if it is false. So let's say we say count is equal to eight. So we all know if you can do the general math that seven is not equal to eight, which means that it is false. So the thing is that by default, your terminal or your uh, compiler, if you're working with other programming languages, it is not going to give you a default message. So it's kind of the thing that you need to handle it yourself. And the way to handle that is else block. So if one condition is not true, then the else block would come into play and it would be executed. This way, you do not leave your terminal uh, empty and your user and you basically know that why you do not have any output, okay? So you have an output, but that output is kind of an exception, which says, let's say your if condition didn't work. So the statement could be anything. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have an else block and I'm going to say the statement is false. So when the bash scripting is compiling the if statement, it is understood that if statement is not true, then it is false. 
Okay, so for that we have else block. So let's go ahead and let's try to write an else block. So the syntax to write else block is very simple. Just before fi, you're gonna write here else, and then this is else block, and here you can write here echo, and you can say this statement is false. Okay, so we know that this statement is false, so it should print out this one. Okay, so what would happen that we have a variable which has a value seven. So seven is equal to eight, which is of course false. What's going to happen is that this statement is not going to be executed. It, rather, it is going to execute this else block. So now if I save it, I come here, I try to run my script and you can see that it has printed out this statement is false. All right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come here. There are other ways to do that. So for example, I can also use uh, NE, which, stand, which stands for not equal to so 7 is not equal to 8 which is true it means that it is going to execute this statement so if i save it if i go ahead and if i try to run my script you can see that it says this statement is true so similarly we have uh, greater than and less than uh, words as well so for that what i can do for greater than i can use gt 7 is greater than 8 which is essentially false so it's going to print out this statement is false. So we're going to go ahead, run our script, and you can see that it says this statement is false. I'm going to quickly come back to my script, and here I'm going to write less than. So 7 is less than 8, which is essentially true. So it's going to print out echo, this statement is true. Can you see how easy it is? Okay, so once you grab the concept, it's going to become really simple for you. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you the AND statements as well and the or statements in the if condition but before that i'm going to show you the nested if statement or else if statement excuse me so in else if statements you basically write two conditions with one with the f if condition and then you're going to write a condition with the else if uh, condition as well or else if block as well and then uh, in the end you have else block in case both of conditions uh, don't work or both of them are false so let's jump into the file, okay, the scripting file. And here we have if condition, which is totally fine. We can call it the first statement, okay. And then we can have else if block, which says ELIF, you're gonna write. Uh, it, it would be understood as uh, else if. And then you can write a condition here as well. So you're gonna write here count, and then you're gonna write here let's say equal to and then you're going to write here in fact there is another way to write the same thing so if you want to write angle brackets you can also do that like less than or equal to or greater than or equal to right so the, this is the way but for that when you're going to write here angle brackets then you're going to have to change this big bracket so instead of one single big bracket you're going to have two parentheses here so the else if in the else if block, I'm going to write here count is greater than or equal to, let's say, 9. Okay, so this statement is false. 7 is neither greater than 9, uh, nor it's equal to 9, right? This is essentially the same way what we were doing here. So there is no difference. Just this is a different method to do the exact same thing. We have here... Uh, else if so after else if you're also going to write here then and then you're going to write here the echo block that we're going to write okay so we're going to say second statement is true okay then we're going to write here uh, else block and in the else block it's going to have this statement is false so now if we save it control o we come out here and we try to run our script here you can see that it says first statement is true and why it has said so. So if we go back to our script, here we can see that count is equal to seven, okay? So count is less than eight, seven is less than eight, it's true, so it's gonna print it out. It's gonna check this and this is false. So it's gonna say second statement is true. It's not gonna say that because it is not going to execute this one. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make this one false. Okay, this one, this statement right here. If the first statement is false as well, 
Then what's going to happen? It's going to execute the else block. Okay. So if I run my script, you can see that it says this statement is false. So if we want to make the second statement uh, true, uh, we can also do so. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here count is greater than or equals to seven. Okay. So if I press control O, if I go back here, run my script and you can see that it says second statement is true. So that's how simple it is. So now I'm going to talk about and statement and or statement in bash scripting, uh, which is pretty simple as well. So let's go ahead and let's try to write an uh, and statement here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove this else if block. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here and statement. So we write here and, and then we're going to write here count is equal to, let's say seven. Here, I'm going to have two brackets. All right. This is one way to do that. Another way to do it is that you have a single statement like this. You have brackets here and then you have brackets here as well. Just make sure that you leave a space here, uh, here and here as well. In the beginning and in the end of the statement, you leave one space between the bracket and the statement because if you don't, it's going to cause an error. So now we have this one, this, state, this, this way of writing this statement is also true. So let's just first save it and let's run it. Okay. So we're going to run our script and you can see that it says this statement is false. Okay. And the reason is that here in the and statement, the thing is that both conditions have to be true. This is the only way it's going to execute the if block. Otherwise it's going to execute the else block. So in our case, seven is greater than eight, which is false. And then we have seven is equal to seven, which is true. So one statement is true, one is false, it's gonna stay false. In the and statement, it has, both has to be true. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make both of them true. So we come here into our script and we write here, um, seven is greater than six, let's say. So now we know that both of the statements are true. Uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna save it. I'm going to come out of my terminal. I'm going to run my script and you can see that it says first statement is true, right? Why is that? Because we have followed the and rules. So now I'm going to go again into script for the or block uh, or for the or statement. What you're going to do is that you're going to use here double pipes. So the only way this or statement is going to be false if both of the statements are false. Otherwise, it's going to stay true and it's going to execute the if block. So here you can see that both of statements are true right now. So it's going to execute, uh, it's going to be true and it's going to execute the echo first statement is true. Okay. So what we're going to do is that we, if we run it, you can see that it says first statement is true. And if we intentionally make one of them false, it would still say uh, stay true. Okay. So if we say seven is greater than eight, it's false. But here seven is equal to seven, which is true. So if we save it, we come out, we run our script, you can see that it still says it's true, right? If we go back inside our script and if we go here and let's say if we make both of them false, like seven equals nine and we say seven is greater than eight, of course, now both of the statements are false and now it's not gonna execute this echo statement, it's gonna execute the else block. So if we save it, we come here, we run our script, you can see that it says this statement is false. So that's how simple uh, the concept is of else if block. We have also discussed and statements as well. There are multiple syntax to do the exact same thing in batch. For example, with the and and or block, you can also use uh, hyphen a for and, and you can also use hyphen o for or. Okay, so I leave that on you. You go ahead and you must try it. You do different examples about if else statements. Maybe you can uh, create your um, exam grade card, okay, from marks from uh, 50 to 100, uh, less than 50, uh, you, you give them an F grade and above than 90, you give them A plus, okay? So you can create that 
um, example of bash script on your own this would be a good task for you and i hope you've enjoyed this video you have learned something new you have understood the concept of if and else statements and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet please do so click the red button hit the bell icon so that you get the notification when we post our next bash video in our bash series thank you so much for watching see you in another video